Developing tonight, protests erupt in Washington, D.C. and Chicago over Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's address to Congress. He defended the war in Gaza and took aim at these American demonstrators. Charlie DeMar was on the ground for us here in Chicago. Charlie? And Joe, the Israeli Prime Minister is trying to maintain American support for Israel's ongoing war against Hamas. He even blamed the terrorist organization for the ongoing food shortages in Gaza. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was greeted by applause as he spoke to a joint session of Congress Wednesday. Our fight is your fight, and our victory will be your victory. Outside the Capitol, protesters gathered. Some burned the American flag and an image of Netanyahu. In Chicago, hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters gathered in response to the prime minister's visit. As the Gaza Health Ministry says the death toll in Gaza nears 40,000. Netanyahu spoke directly to Americans who stand with Palestine. Well, I have a message for these protesters. When the tyrants of Tehran, who hang gays from cranes and murder women for not covering their hair, are praising, promoting, and funding you, you have officially become Iran's useful idiots. More than 50 Democratic lawmakers boycotted the speech, including Illinois representatives Jan Schakowsky, Delia Ramirez, and Senator Dick Durbin. Support for Israel's right to exist is not a blank check for extremist policies of Prime Minister Netanyahu. We cannot work towards peace while giving a war criminal the floor. You chose to attend today, as you know, more than 50 Democrats boycotted, chose not to. What do you make of their decision? They made a decision not to listen to the elected leader of one of our most important allies. I think it was the wrong decision. Illinois Congressman Brad Schneider was in the audience and briefly spoke privately to Netanyahu, urging the prime minister to reach a deal to bring the hostages home and end the ongoing war in Gaza. It's reachable. Let's get it done and get the hostages home as soon as possible. Time is of the essence. Pro-Palestinian protesters here in Chicago say they plan to protest in the weeks leading up to and during next month's Democratic National Convention. We're live tonight in the control room. I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS News, Chicago. Joe. Charlie, thank you.